we're still in Connecticut. Willie's on my dad. Look at you at a bike show. <laughs> Yo, this cop is gonna cause an accident. Yo! Yeah. I gotta say, this is the best. Well, it is a beautiful morning out here in dirty Jersey. Blue skies, clear skies. Got the Low Rider ST all packed up. And we got Willie's Road Glide right here, all packed up. We're on our way. We're heading up to um, Laconia Bike Week up to New Hampshire from New Jersey. So let me just show you guys. We're going to go from New Jersey through New York, through Connecticut, through Massachusetts, and then right into New Hampshire. Right now it's saying about five hours and nine minutes. So we'll see if we can cut it way shorter because we got two fast bikes. Freshly, well, I mean, mine's a fresh stage uh, stage two, but this guy has a 132. A 132. The SNS uh, 132 kit. This bike is, is sick, man. A10 set up in the front. Absolutely beautiful, man. All right, so we're going to get on the road, man. I'm excited for this. Laconia, last time I went up there was 2022, two years ago, for the uh, 99th um, anniversary. <laughs> nice cold start. Well, I'm fully gassed, but... Really, just needs to top off, and we'll we'll see how many miles we get out of this uh, out of this bike today. I was actually pretty surprised I was able to pack everything in these two clamshell bags because just the way the way it's set out, the way it closes, like there's not much you could put in them. But I I packed up a weekend worth of stuff. I'm just so happy that Mother Nature has blessed us with great weather this whole weekend. It's usually it rains. <laughs> the whole time around this time of the season but we're good man we got blue skies sunny skies ahead of us what's also pretty cool is that we're gonna be able to touch five different states within the next five hours which is pretty awesome I guess this trip is gonna be like uh, preparations for the big long haul trip that I have next month to Milwaukee because that's gonna be a long one that's gonna be about 13 hours about um, just about a thousand miles, 900 and change. Forget how many miles this is. One thing I really love about New Hampshire is just the beautiful roads they have up there. A lot of windy, twisty roads, nice paved roads at that. Not like the roads we have down here in Jersey, New York. These roads are trash, man. Um, but yeah, really nice roads. And then I'm really looking forward to riding up to Mount Washington because the last time I was up there I didn't get to do Mount Washington or Tagamangas or any of the other big destinations we were just kind of like hanging out all around the area and we had a good time but I didn't want to miss out on that this time around so today's Thursday um, we're gonna head up straight to the dealership now in Laconia hang out there check the vendors out get a bite to eat and just chill for the rest of the day then tomorrow morning friday we're gonna wake up and we're gonna head up to mount washington hopefully all the weather's good because i know sometimes when it's like extremely windy up there they close it down so we'll see how how that is if not then we'll we'll find something else to do and then saturday we'll do some riding and then we'll head home in the evening i hope you guys enjoy the video just sit back Relax and enjoy today's show.
at this view right here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is the uh, Beacon Bridge. We're in New York right now heading uh, towards Beacon. <laughs> uh, Fishkill, Peekskill area around there. Not too far from Connecticut. There's a few things that on this trip I want to test out because a lot of new stuff on this bike. Pretty much everything. But the bar setup as well, uh, pretty comfortable so far. Uh, we've been on the road for about maybe 45 minutes, 50 minutes or so. Uh, bar setup feels great. Stage two is just, man, <laughs> this thing is making a ton of power. Uh, the exhaust sounds great. Uh, the windshield, eight inch clockworks, bronze windshield. Great wind protection. Love it so far. I've had it on the bike for a while right now. Um, but definitely on this trip is where we're going to put it to the test. But um, no complaints so far. And then lastly, the seat. We recently got the uh, custom made Lepara tail whip seat for, the, for this bike. Um, and so far so good. Going back to my discussion before about the fact that, you know, today we're going to be riding through five states, which is pretty awesome. I think, I, I, feel, I feel like sometimes we take for granted this country and everything we have around us. The fact that we're able to travel around everywhere, state to state, and everything is so different. Like, it's, it's so much beauty out there, man. And the fact that we're doing this on, on motorcycles is the best part. We get to experience, smell, and just get the real feel of everything when you're riding throughout the country. I'm telling you, man, we're, we're, I'm doing this trip the next month out to Milwaukee. But what I really want to do next is just head out west, man. I really want to take like a cross-country trip or something and just see the, see the rest of the country, man. I want to ride out to Montana and Wyoming. That, that, that's where I really want to go. So who knows? Maybe we could uh, plan that down the line a few months from now. But it, this, it, it's so crazy how this country, different little pockets throughout either the East Coast or West Coast. We go down South and everything is so different. If you're in the East Coast on top of where we're at, it's a different vibe, different culture. Head down South different culture Midwest different culture out west totally different culture different accents it's just it's pretty cool and it's within one country and you got deserts and you have highways and and oceans on both sides of the country and it's just an awesome feeling man and the fact that we can ride and visit through all these states on a motorcycle, that's the best part. My mirror, it's loose. We gotta tighten that up, bro. All right, so we are officially in Connecticut now, in Danbury. Making our way up, baby. And we are down to half a tank now. We've done maybe, what, like maybe 90 miles? I mean, it's not bad yeah this gas mileage is really it's not that bad when you take into consideration the stage two um yeah it's really not that bad yeah. 29 miles left first gas up let's see exactly where we're at we are oh we're still in connecticut we're still in connecticut um all right heading up to massachusetts Two hours and change left. Two hours and 45 minutes left. Not bad. Fill it up, baby. Fill it up. See how much it's going to take to um, fill up. Might be like 15, 17 bucks, maybe. All right. What are we at? 16.68. Yo, your lights are bright as shit. I looked back that one time and I'm like, what the hell? 
Welcome to New Hampshire. So we were supposed to go kind of through the outskirts of Boston when we uh, reached Massachusetts, but we took a different route. So yeah, we are in New Hampshire now. I gotta say, it has it hasn't been a bad ride. Like it's, I feel like I could do another two or three hours. And I'll be fine. And the last time I came up here, I felt like I was a bit more fatigued, more tired. Um, but this time around, I'm good, man. I could another three hours, and I'm and I'm I'm still good. Well, second gas up, and we made it. We're just down the road from the uh, Harley Davidson uh, dealership we're headed to. So two Phillips. And we're here. Not bad. Oh, God. Nice. Uh, you know, I'm even going to bother cleaning this bike up here, man. I'm just going to wait until I get home this weekend. And we'll give it a nice thorough wash. Well, we have made it. We're here. Harley Davidson, baby. Thanks, man. That's new, right? Yeah, it's the new um, enthusiast collection for this year. Thank you. Any bike event, you need to get a T-shirt, man. You need to. Before we find something really good. This right here is this year's design. Pretty cool. I like it. I'm gonna three of these plus a tank top because I mean, there's always gifts for people. I just found the dopest shirt in here, like that I've ever seen. Yeah, no, we're getting that. We gotta get that. We got a table for me and my dad. <laughs> Willie's on my dad. Yeah. This cornbread right here. Good. Good again. Restaurants right above. Um, right next to the dealership. There's an outdoor patio and everything as well. Waiting for the food. I mean, we got something simple. I got a turkey club, but cool place. Right. Good service. Man, First time ever I've seen anyone eat a turkey parm. Come on, bro. You're from Jersey. What is that? I don't know. It's good. <laughs> I got something basic, man. Just got a turkey club with some onion rings. Nice and easy. All right. So we chopped it up over here at the uh, dealership. Afternoon, we're about a seven o'clock evening, sun's down. We're about to head down to Weir's Beach real quick, see what's up down there, just to check it out. I want to show Willie the strip. And then we're gonna be going over to where uh, we're staying at tonight. It's right by a lake, it's really nice. 
get some food, chill, crack a cold one, and and that's our Thursday, man. First day of Laconia. Not bad. I gotta say, it's a little tame this year. I feel like there's like a little less people. Back in 2022, I felt like it was more packed. I don't know if it's because maybe last time I came was earlier during the week, but usually it gets more packed towards the end of the week. I don't know. Pirates Cove, yeah! Yo, this, just the smell out here is awesome. It just smells like straight pine trees. Party, party. We got, uh, I stopped there last time, had some good food, drinks. I actually lost my key fob. Right there in that same parking lot with the dirt, still dirt. Lost my key fob. We rode to our Airbnb, which is like maybe 40 minutes away. Got there, turned the bike off. Then I had to turn the bike back on and it wouldn't turn on. And that's why I was like, wait a minute. I lost my key fob. Came back to here and someone found it. They gave it in and yeah, I mean, I got my key fob back. So we had to uh, use the code to turn the bike on. Look at this, I, I love these little roads right here, man. All these little back roads are awesome. Look at that, that's awesome. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. Yo, this cop is gonna cause an accident. Yo! <laughs> there we go. Here we go. We got pretty lucky. We found parking right next to each other right away, which is unlikely, very unlikely here. It's pretty cool. So around this area, we're gonna see is a bunch of like vendors and a bunch of t-shirts, jewelries, clothing, um, and everyone's just hanging out here. A bunch of bars and restaurants up the block as well. It's pretty cool. Hi, Willie. Nice to meet you. This is Jack. Jack hey, what's up, man? Nice to meet you. Willie. This is my cousin, oh, nice Robert, man. What's up, Rob? Yeah. How you doing? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Willie. Oh, Willie. Willie, nice to meet what's you. What's up, kid? You look good. How's the family, man? Every, everyone's good, man. Good? Everyone's good. Yeah. How all about right. you? All right, so we just pulled up to his place to have dinner, and it's amazing. Well, first of all, we parked the bikes here, and this is where we're going to be having dinner, and just look at this damn view, man. This is... Can't go wrong with that. What else can you ask for? I had a full day of riding. I'm not even tired yet, man. I'm, I'm not. Like I want to keep riding. It's, it's, it's been great. Look at this. It's beautiful. And it's Matt. You're so romantic. You brought us here. I think of the special places for Junior. Or do I? Or do you go Look by this. Marvel? We're, we're having <laughs> dinner here, and this is. Well, cool. this is my view. This is my other view, and then this is the main view. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you guys can see it because GoPro sucks at nighttime, but I'm gonna have a nice little cheeseburger. 
Lobster roll over here, lobster roll right there. Thick. Look at you on a bike show.